Hello and welcome to the walkthrough video for Portals. It is a collaborative contact instrument that I've made with many of my friends in the piano book community. So I have four different instruments, each one with samples from a different samplist. For example, this one is from Sage Reynolds. But then I have a bunch of other ones. So I have this Scarlet Synth from Sam Ecoff. And then I also have the Violet Atmosphere from Hunter Rogerson. And then there is an exclusive uh, Ivory Wavetable patch that you can get by leaving a review on the instrument page on Piano Book. If you leave a review, I'll send you this exclusive ivory wavetable. So let's check out the back end of this instrument. So as you can see, over on the right side, we have a smooth random LFO that you can control the rate of, so you can control the amount as well, and then also the offset. So this random LFO is connected to the center control. The center control is a macro knob that shifts many different controls from preset positions that are selected with these two drop-down menus. So if I were to shift the knob over to the left side, in this example, it is the short noise preset. But if I shift it all the way to the right, it is the basic pad preset. But then if you have the random LFO on, then it shifts between those in an unpredictable pattern. You also have the option to change these presets with the dice. So yeah, you can get some cool combinations. Like I said, this center control is connected to a bunch of other controls. Five of those controls are the ADSR and the volume control. So I have not provided all of the controls that this macro knob adjusts. I would like to release a future version that maybe includes those, but for now I wanted to keep it simple and just add the ADSR and the volume. So if you wanted to adjust those settings for the different presets, you can by just turning the knob to the position of the preset and adjusting it. So right now, Astral Glass has a short attack. But if you wanted it to be a long attack, you can move this attack controller up and now it has a fade in. Let's make it even more dramatic. And now if you, if you change that center control, it will remember the position that you had set it to. So I have it going up and then going down and it goes straight to the position that you set yourself. And you can do this for these five controls that are on the left side. Those are the only visible controls that are adjusted by the center knob. You also have a simple reverb that you can adjust the level of, as well as select from four different reverb presets that I've given you. So like I said before, there is an exclusive ivory wavetable patch 
All you have to do is leave a review on this instrument on the piano book page. Once you leave a review, you can contact me through email or through Discord, and I will make sure to send you this ivory wavetable instrument. A special thank you to Sam Ekoff, Sage Reynolds, and Hunter Rogerson for helping me on this project. It was a lot of fun, and including these three other people made it so that it was easy to diversify the sounds of this instrument. This is very much a proof of concept. I would like to continue making builds of this. I have a lot of ideas for what I would like to add to a paid version of this instrument. Um, but first I wanna see if there's any interest in the engine. Thank you for watching this walkthrough video and I'm excited to see what you make with the portals.